Hi everyone, this is Vivek from Tech 101. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use local JSON data in your Flutter app. So without any delay, let's start our video. Before starting our video, be sure to subscribe our channel and click on bell icon to receive notification of our upcoming videos. So uh, here I have default Flutter app up and running in my mobile device. As you can see here, I can click on this plus button to increment the number and here I have a JSON data of question and answer here as you can see here I have a, a local data uh, named data.json and here we have map of questions okay list of map and the map is uh, map I have two keys question and answer so we have to display this data uh, in our Flutter app. So we are going to use list view and uh, display this data. Okay. So let's see how we can how we can do that. So first of all, uh, let me close this as of now, and let's make a folder named assets in the root directory. Okay. So. click on new folder and name it assets uh, you can give any name and let's add that file in this folder okay here i have file and let me drag this and add this inside the assets folder now you have to give reference of this assets in prospect.yml file uh, that is here under this assets section on comment this line and just uh, pass the folder name over here and assert slash if you do this uh, slash then it will work for all the uh, files that we have in this directory named assets okay so uh, now uh, let's make a folder named screens screens to show our data so I will simply name this as QA screen dot dot as you are going to show a list of questions and answer and let me make a new folder named models so that we can uh, make a model of question and answer and another folder uh, named services inside uh, this we'll make a new file and inside this file we can convert the uh, json data into uh, uh, the list of this model that we are going to create okay uh, so first of all let's de define a model for our question answer okay so let me make a new file inside this model folder and give it a name q and a dot q and a model dot dot okay and let me make a class q and a and inside this json we have a map and the first key is question and we, we only have two data okay so let's make two string variables string okay question question and string answer and let me make a constructor for this to initialize these variables that is this dot question this dot answer okay so I have to correct this over here and now I'm going to make a method uh, QNA dot from JSON and this will take a map 
of type string and the value is string as of now what we can simply leave dynamic is uh, it will support any variable in the data okay the key is string and the value can be dynamic and let me name this as json data and now we will assign uh, the value to these to these two parameters okay questions question equals to json data and name of the key that is question and same for the answer that is json data answer okay so our model is ready now let's work on services okay so i will make json to list or i can simply give it a name json services dot dot okay now i will make a class named json service inside this class i will make a function named get questions okay and this is going to return a future okay we are not sure that our uh, json contains data or not or there might be some error while extracting the data from that json file okay so and we are not going to get the result instantly so we are going to use future and what we are going to receive is list of question okay future list of q a and let me import the q a okay and the new function can be get questions and it is obviously asynchronous so here uh, i'm going to make a new variable named final data equals to await we are going to use root bundle dot load string okay load string and we will pass the path of our uh, json file so that is assert slash data dot json assert slash data dot json and this quotation must be here after this we have to decode this data in a json format so fine they can simply use where json data is equals to json dot decode so uh, you need to import dot convert method to use json method okay json dot decode it is simply decode and you can decode this data now uh, inside this data we will uh, get list of map right as list like you can see over here we have list of this map okay so this is a list and the first item of this list is this map and second item is this and so on okay and now i have the list uh, so i will make a uh, i can simply return json data dot from we may have method named from map or something okay json data dot map and uh, for each items in this list uh, this is going uh, going to execute it okay now we can we receive the each item uh, in, from this list in this e variable okay so i am going to use q a data okay q a from json and i will pass this e okay now i will convert this to list as we are going to uh, return list of q a and we receive a, a q a a uh, uh, list of q a okay from this method and we are simply returning this so now 
let's write a code to display this screen uh, this this data okay so here i am in q and a screen so let me import material package make a stateless with it and let me name it is q and a screen okay i will make a scaffold app bar let its title be text using local json in local json okay and inside this body we are going to use future builder okay now in the future we are going to call that function that we have defined in services okay we can simply use json service and make an object of it and use the method get questions okay let me stop the app and run it again okay mm. okay name parameter builder is required so let me give a builder uh, this will provide context and snapshot and we will check either we have data in snapshot or not if we have data then we will make a list view and show the data otherwise we will simply wait and we will use a circular progress indicator showing that we are waiting for the data return circular progress indicator and let me add a const over here now if okay we already uh, checked uh, we have data or not so if we have data then let me make a variable that is list of qna and qna data is equal to snapshot dot data is the this get question future is going to return a list of qna right so let me import this and let me make this null ever or i can simply say this is not null okay so we are already checking if it is it has data only the, uh, this code is executed so it is going to be at least it contains any data okay now here we are going to return return list view dot builder and in item builder we will uh, make a list style okay we will make a list style and inside the in the uh, title of list style we will display the question in the subtitle we will display the answer okay list style and we are missing on semicolon now in the title parameter you can simply pass text and q and a data dot question q and a data index dot question as we are receiving list of question uh, list of q and a object okay and let's do same for answer text q and a data index dot answer and it is it must not be null okay so let me run the app again our mo app must work so let me increase the amount of data or simply okay let it be
so the app is running okay i can close this wizard inspector and again we can see the uh, a demo home page okay from plotter okay so uh, this is because we haven't uh, give the reference to this q a screen okay in the main dot file so in in the home property we are going to give q a screen okay q a screen and let me add a const over here and let me restart the app again So I forget to uh, give up uh, item count property. Okay, so if we do not provide item count property, uh, it is going to make that widget make this list style for infinite number of times. So uh, be sure to add the item count property. So inside this item count, I will just provide Q and a data dot length. So let me restart the app again. okay now we have our data displayed here so guys how's this video if you like this video give us a thumbs up and if you have any problems while following the steps on here please don't hesitate to comment below thank you for watching